The so-called flagship from you, the Unicorn, was launched a few days back and we have already seen the first impression and the gaming review of the device. And today, it's time to have a look at the camera and check out its performance. So let's get started and have a look. Now talking about the hardware, the U Unicorn has a 13 megapixel camera at the back with f2.2 aperture and the front facing shooter is of 5 megapixel with the f2.0 aperture which is the basic camera hardware that we see in almost all the budget smartphones. That said, let's now talk about the camera interface. The interface of the U Unicorn camera is very basic and looks like something which has not been updated for years. You get the shutter button and the video capture button on the right and the option to toggle the HDR and flash at the top. On the left, you have the option to select the picture-in-picture -picture option along with the panorama mode to take photos. There are filters available if you swipe up from the bottom of the camera screen but you'll have a tough time using them and I'll tell you the reason shortly. Now under the settings, you can control the exposure and select different scene mode. You also get some additional features like the gesture shot for selfies but that is all that you get. There is no option to select manual mode to control ISO, focus or even the white balance. In the video mode, you get full HD recording with tracking focus but there is no 4K option available. Now, the camera interface is too slow and there is a considerable lag before the shutter is ready to snap again. You get the option of zero delay shutter under the settings but almost all the images that you shoot with that mode will be blurred out and if you club them with the light filters that you get on the floor, it's very slow and it's the end of the story according to me. So all in all, the U should have given some time in refining the camera interface and make it worth calling a flagship. Let's now have a look at some of the sample shots I have taken using the U camera. The photos shot in the good lighting conditions have a decent quality and the images don't look over processed. But they could have been a bit more sharper, that's what I believe. The HDR mode is just for the namesake and makes no difference in the photos. Under the low lighting condition, the camera slows down even more and if you manage to take a pic without any blur in it, you'll have too much of noise in that. The selfie camera at 5 megapixel does a decent job in good lighting but again in the low light the performance is not that good and you will get a lot of noise and blur while taking photos. Now in the video mode you get tracking focus which can track one object no matter where you move while taking the video but there is no autofocus and the test to focus is also a bit slow. So friends, here's the sample video that I am recording from the back camera of the U Unicorn and it's a full HD video and the audio is also from the device itself. Now autofocus is not present in the back camera but then you can tap to focus on the objects but it might take some time before the object is in focus. So friends, that was a camera review of the U Unicorn and frankly speaking, I am a bit disappointed. You have seen better camera, interface and photo quality in Redmi Note 3 and even the Lai Ecola One S. So do let me know what you think about the photos that are shot using the U Unicorn and you can find the high resolution download links in the description of this video. And by the way, this video also has been shot from the front facing camera of the U Unicorn. Now if you like this video, do give us a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do hit this subscribe button right now. This is Ashish from Guiding Tech and until next time take care and have a wonderful day.